I know, cool, eh? So yeah, number this one goes to Scorpion. Number five, the Green Goblin. Now the Green Goblin, I know lots of people have him higher on their list. I would, I just I don't know as much about the character. Like I liked him in Spider Man the movie. Uh, I wasn't particularly fond of him in Spectacular Spider Man. I didn't hate him. I liked him at the end. I really liked him at the end. But um, that's what why he's on number five. But yeah, um, Green Goblin's cool. He's a really cool villain. I know he's one of the best, and he's the only one that any um killed Spider Man's girlfriend. Yeah, sucks for her. He's, he thinks he killed her. He could ah, but that that's another story for another time. Um, yeah, Green Goblin's a cool villain. I love the glider thing and everything. I guess this is just me. I guess I prefer the one in the movie than the one in the comics, or at least the. That's just me. Okay. I don't know. He just seemed cooler in the movie. But anyway, okay, number five is Green Goblin. Number four. Yeah. Electro. Ah, uh, yes. Now, I like Electro for two... This is what my list from number four down isn't just what I've seen or because they look cool or... I think from number four down, I, I actually know these characters pretty well, or at least well enough, and I actually like them. Electro, uh, I've read a few things of his in Ultimate Spider-Man, and of course I've seen him in Spectacular Spider-Man. I like the character a lot in in both. Like, um, he's just, in the comics that I've read, he's just a cocky guy. He's uh. He has powers, he's powerful, he knows it, but he's a little cocky. He's a little full of himself. But still, he's, he's pretty powerful, and he's pretty cool. But, um, the one I actually prefer is in Spectacular Spider-Man, where he's just, he was just this regular guy, this stuff happened to him, just a bunch of crap happened to him, and, um, and he had it, ended up, like, going bad, and, He's like obsessed with his own powers now, almost. It's it's really cool how they did it in that show. Definitely the best version of Electro I've ever seen. Uh yeah, Electro is a cool a cool villain. Powerful. He may not be a a tops on most people's list, but for me, he's number four. Number three. Shocker. Or the Shocker, I don't know which one is which. Ah, I like Shocker. He's a nice villain, I like him. Um, I really... Here we go again. <laughs> I really started liking him because of Spectacular Spider-Man. Darn it, all I know about Spider-Man is because of that TV show. Except for my final two choices. But anyway, um... Yeah, Spider- uh, Shocker. He's probably pretty low on a lot of people's lists, but, um, I really like him. Like, um, the way he operates and everything, I really like the way they did him in Spectacular Spider-Man. How he's really this professional. He, everything he does is professional. He's not just a guy, oh, I got gloves that can truck things, alright, let's go. He's like, alright, let's think this through. We gotta plan it out. We gotta take it and inform it and enforce it. Shocker is a cool looking villain too. Even though he looks like a pincushion, he still looks cool. Depending on who draws him, of course. But that's that goes for anyone. Um yeah, Shocker. Who knew? What a Shocker. Number two, Venom. Ah, yes. Now, Venom, he is a great villain. I mean... 
Thank you. Uh, okay, you could totally tell that was fake. But anyway, um, Venom is a great villain. He really is. I, like, I did not like how they did him in Spider-Man 3. I did not like that, Sam, I am. I will not take that, Sam. Um, Venom should not have been played by Topher Grace. He should not have been played by Topher Grace. Venom should have been played by the guy who does the movie trailer voices. You know, you know the ones I'm talking about. You know, in a world where you add a little bit of effects to those voices, you got Venom. That's who should have done it. But, but Venom, oh man, he's just such a great villain because like the whole dynamic thing where the whole Eddie hates Peter, the the slime hates Spider Man. They're working together. The whole, we hate Spider Man. The whole the whole way the symbiote works is rather weird, but good, great to look at. I mean, Eddie Brock is messed up. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, he's messed up. He has some things wrong with him, but hey. Who cares, man? If we get a humongous, decent fight out of it, I'm okay with it. How about you? Anyone complaining? Anyone? Sam Raimi, shut up. Anyway, um... Yeah. He's Venom. What can you say? He's a big mo oozy monster that wants to kill Spider-Man. Who could have thought that'd be so cool? So now the question is, one is number one. I have a feeling you know, but let's get at it anyway. Sing us the web, you're the Spider-Man. Sing us the web tonight. Number one. Doc Ock, or Dr. Octopus, whichever you prefer. Man, when I've read the comics of uh, Ultimate Spider-Man with Doc Ock in it, I am literally shaking. The way he is written, the way he is portrayed, and even in Spider-Man 2, he's just such an amazing villain. I mean... He's hard to put your finger on. You can't say he's completely evil, but he's not a nice guy at all. I mean, holy crap. I mean, um, Doc Ock, he's done some, I don't know what he's really done in the comics before, the evil, but he's put, he's put Spider-Man through a bunch of crap. Oh, man, like, it's just one I... In Ultimate Spider-Man, there's this one I saw where he, he actually kidnaps Spider-Man, yanks one of his teeth out, and he flies him to another country and uh, leaves him there. Okay then. It's <laughs> he's not a nice man. I'm just gonna say that. But he's such cool. Like, I know lots of people think Doc Ock is. Like, a fat curvy villain with the giant arms. He's more than that, man. I mean, he's just seriously one of the coolest... At least in Ultimate Spider-Man. From what I've read, he's one of the coolest villains I've ever seen. And those arms... Tell me... You tell me you weren't creeped out in Spider-Man 2 when those arms were talking to him. I'm not telling that. Shut up, you guys. Anyway. Uh, yeah. I was just like, holy crap. I'm not talking to you. Oh, my goodness. But, uh, yeah. I love Doc Ock. Mm. Oh, and I gotta say, in, um, <laughs> in Spectacular Spider-Man, he's betrayed. It's just as good. Uh, before things went screwy, 
he was just like, oh, 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 don't hurt me, don't hurt me. And then something went wrong, and then he's all, <laughs> Dark Hawk. In my opinion, Spider Man's greatest villain. If you don't agree, comment. Tell me. Do something. Don't just sit around watching YouTube videos all day. That's what I do. I'm lazy to do 99. And remember, if I don't like it, it's not worth reading.